Okay, let's play um, Ultimate Spider-Man, the video game. Single player and multiplayer, multi-open world, free romance, story and fighting, best fan-made, super game on dreams, based off an upcoming fan film on YouTube by Nightfall Gamer. Okay, this game will be getting more content for years to come. Bracket, biggest game, close bracket. Okay, cool. This is, um, this is the open bracket, biggest game, close bracket. Um, let's give it a go. Is this... Yes, okay, it was the person who made it that shared it with me. See, almost a thousand thumbs up and they're still sharing it. Like, you know, is is that not enough? Like, to get nearly a thousand thumbs up as not an MM pick is actually quite a good thing. And that's got, you know, that's a decent enough ratio of thumbs up as well, if I'm honest. Um, but hey, look guys, let's give this a go, right? Let's play um, Ultimate Spider-Man, the video game. 2020. Um, Otterbon just asked, uh, why did I like their cannon model today? Um, it's because I saw you post in the Discord that you felt like you needed to be more confident in your sculpts, right? And so I went and I looked at your page, like I literally went and I looked at your sculpts and then, you know, I thumbed it up because I liked it and then, um, and then I posted in the Discord saying I like your sculpts. Um, so there we go. Um, I mean, I, I, I mean, ultimately, I, I liked it because I liked it. Um, but the reason that I looked at it is because I saw you post that you weren't confident, so I had to look, man. And, I mean, I wouldn't have liked it if I didn't like it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's why I liked it, and then that's why I, I responded saying, oh, I like your stuff. Um, anyway. This is Ultimate Spider-Man by Nightfall Gamer. Um, but yeah, I mean, in general, if someone thumbs up your thing, then it means that they like your thing. Um, I mean, sometimes a person might be um, like Toronto Mayor and just thumb it up even if they don't like it to prevent you from self-harm. Um, but in general, when a person thumbs it up, it means they do like it. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, like, they're just preventing people from self-harm, so they're doing a good thing, right? I'm going to have to put this down because it's really loud. Um, here we go. Yeah, he's just spreading the love. Um, exactly. He's spreading the love as efficiently as he possibly can. Um, that's all he's doing. Oh my god, 95% complete. Danny Kaka, you naughty, naughty boy. Um, like, that's you off my Christmas list. Also, this is still too loud, by the way. I don't know if it's still too loud for you guys, but it's still too loud for me. Um, maybe I could just put my headset volume down, but it's easier to do this, right? Although maybe I'm just now completely overpowering it. Um, I mean, I really don't know. You're just going to have to let me know. That's Peter Parker. He took his mask off there. I saw who he was. Um, this must be in a universe where people know who Spider-Man is, right? That's evolution of the franchise right there. Okay. Oh, there we go. He's got his mask on. This is pink Spider-Man. Um, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. Um, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Um, but he's definitely pink when you start the game out. And then as you move away from the light, he gets redder. And I'm not sure if the creator actually means anything by that, like on a deep philosophical level. Like, you know, he starts out pink and then the more you stray from the kitchen, the redder you become. I don't know. Um, oh, a low leg. Um, it says press touchpad for controls, right? I actually am pressing the touchpad. And as you can see, nothing is happening. Um... Like, nothing's happening. I am pressing touchpad, I promise you. I am pressing it and nothing's happening. Um, so, you know, I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Oh, hello. Now the controls have come up, but I never pressed touchpad. Clearly the controls are set to a trigger zone of standing there, right? Oh, what's that? Oh, hello. Right. Okay, let's see these controls. D-pad directions. Oh, oh, it's a Rubik's Cube. Okay, it's specific Rubik's Cube controls. This is a Spider-Man game with a Rubik's Cube minigame. Um, we never saw that coming, did we? I definitely never saw that coming. Did I solve that? Did I actually... What? I don't understand, guys. I don't understand. Um, did I accidentally solve that Rubik's Cube? What's going on? 
Oh, hello. There's... <laughs> this is what every superhero needs. Um, a big arrow pointing towards their phone, just in case you forget. You know what I mean? Um, that's cool, that's cool. I understand it from a gameplay perspective, obviously. You want the player to see the phone and interact with it. But I'd rather interact with this door, since it lets me. Um, what the hell? Oh, hello. Okay. Can we just go to one of these without answering the phone? Um, ultimate Deadpool, Ultimate Venom, okay. Um, Spider-Verse, okay. Let's, ju let's just go answer the phone, alright? Let's go answer the phone. It's got a big arrow, so I feel like it deserves answered. Here we go, here we go. Peter, it's me, Harry Osborne. Oh. Uh, let me call when you can. Okay. I'll give you a call I when I can. Oh. And I need your help. Okay. Is that it? I'm still holding triangle. Okay, right, okay. So now how do I give him a call? I want to give him a call. He sounds like he needs help. Um, he's my pal and I want to give him help. Uh, how do I give him a call? I'm going to go back and press triangle next to the phone in the hope that it calls him, right? Here we go. I'll mute myself for this voice acting as well. Because this is potentially MP worthy, okay? Here we go. Okay, apparently. Oh, Peter. oh no, it is working Peter. now. There we go. Harry Osborne. Uh, give me a call when you can. I have a problem and I need your help. Okay, so, Peter Parker. He has an answering machine, but he's not paid his phone bill. Um, he's, you know, he, he, um, he can't make calls, he can only receive them at the end of the day. Although, don't they just cut your line off? There's a spaceship hub. I'm excited to go to the spaceship hub. Are you excited to go to the spaceship hub? I mean, I'm not sure if I should... I mean, maybe I should ease myself in with something a bit lighter before I go all the way to the spaceship hub. Because um, that's quite exciting, isn't it? Um, let's check out the Spider-Verse. Um, here we go, here we go. This better includes the 70s Spider-Man from, like, the really cheap films. I don't know if you've seen them. Like, um, by the way, it's amazing how the viewer numbers shoot up as soon as Spider-Man comes on. About, like, all the crap trending stuff in Dreams. But, like, see, the second you stick Spider-Man on, boom, you double in viewers. It's like, you know what I mean? Dreams is all about the crap. Um, here we go. Press, press trackpad. What's the trackpad? Activation warp gate. Um, cool. I mean, obviously we can see what that done there. Um, I mean, it made everything go dark and it done this, but, like, I mean, what's going on, guys? I'm not really familiar with this whole Spider-Verse thing, right? I saw the crap 70s films. Um... I saw the crap 70s films that I actually thought were quite good, um, but I was a child. But then I think if I saw them now, I'd still think they're quite good, because I love that sort of crap cheese. Um, I think a cheesy crap film is actually a lot more entertaining than a high-budget, like, triple-A smooth film, if you know what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, man. Like, I had them on VHS. I think I got them out of a Tesco for, like, £2.50 or something. Um, anyway, anyway. I like the old Spider-Man from the 70s. Um, around the same time as that old crap Incredible Hulk. And I know the modern Spider-Man. This is, this is really loud again. Like, I've got this volume down to four and it just still seems really loud all of a sudden. Let's put it down to three, right? And I'm aware of the, um, no, no, that's, that's still too loud. Like, what are you doing with your sound, man? What are you doing with your mixing? How is it so different from scene to scene? Like, I just don't get that, man. I just don't get it. Um, I know the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. I watched that. I was maybe about 16 or 17 when the first Tobey Maguire one with Willem Dafoe came out. Um, this is still super loud, man. 
what's going on here? I should just put my own volume down at this point. Now you probably just can't hear the game, you can just hear me, but it still seems super loud to me. Um, just all of a sudden. This scene, you know? And I quite liked that film. Um, I mean it was alright, but I was like 16 or 17. This wasn't my favourite film or anything, but it was enjoyable enough. I like Willem Dafoe. Um, and then I never really saw the sequels. I never saw the second one or the third one so much. Um, but that first one was okay. And then I never really saw The Amazing Spider-Man. I just, that sort of all passed me by. Those two films there. I think there was two of them. Um, and now I know this new Spider-Man, this Tom Hiddleston. He's British. And he's the son of... Uh, Oh, he's the son of a guy whose name I can't quite remember. I'm sure his first name's Dominic, and I can't remember his surname, but he's a stand-up who I remember from the 90s. And it's just mad to think that, like, the current Spider-Man, who's one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, um, is, like, the son of a guy who um, I used to see do stand-up in the 90s on telly when I was a wee boy. Um, I can't remember his name, though, because his surname's not the same. It's not even Tom Hiddleston. Did I say Tom Hiddleston? Or Huddleston? That's, that's a different man. That's Loki from Marvel. I bet chat are going mental right now. And I will catch up with chat in a moment. We're just on an, al an alley, um, you know, we're on a little alley rant here. You know, that's all it is. Um, now this guy's really quiet, by the way. But like, what's his name? Tom something. Tom something. I bet the chat are shouting at me. Ocular fixation's got to go. I actually just caught that out the corner of my eye. But, uh, yeah, Luke, don't worry about it, Ocular Fixation. I will try not to start Home Alone without you. Luke, it's currently five past one in the morning. Um, and I'm not tired. I'm happy to keep going. But at the same time, I can't go too late. So hopefully it happens soon, if it is going to happen, right? Um, but don't worry about it. It's all good, man. I mean, I'll make a good VOD of it if it does happen. That's for sure. Um, and I say a good VOD. I mean, I'll make a VOD of it. Um... It's not going to be good, because it's just going to be forced enjoyment. But, um, yeah, Tom Holland, Lugaddy says, and he's totally right. Maybe his dad's called Dominic Holland or something? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, um, I know this new Spider-Man. He's all right. Um, like, you know, these modern Marvel films, they're okay. They're all right. I've watched a bunch of them, and I've quite enjoyed them. Uh, I'm not, like, a massive fan of them or anything, but I've enjoyed them enough. They're, they're, they're entertaining. Um... But I've not seen all of them. I've just seen a bunch of them. Um, look, I've been playing this for, like, at least ten minutes. And I've still not actually played anything. And I'm sure that a lot of that's my fault, right? But at the same time, I'm out of here, lads. I'll see you later, alright? I'm just, I'm out of here, okay? I played it. It's not getting a thumbs up. Um, I hoped I might get on a scoreboard. But it's not exactly made it easy for me, has it? Um, like, thank you very much for sending it to me, Nightfall Gamer X. Um, I appreciate that you made a thing, and I do know that you will have put a lot of work and effort into it. I'm not putting it down in any way, shape, or form, man. I appreciate that you made a thing, and I haven't made a thing like that. And, you know what I mean, seriously. Like, well done for making a thing that you're passionate about. I really appreciate it. But it's just not what I play Dreams for, okay? I Like, I'm sorry, guy, okay? Um, that's just the truth of it. Um, let's just stick 